Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another video. If I said the name Leon Rem Helsos, many of you would probably quake in your boots with the sheer anger and hatred for this particular NPC, either through the storyline of Bosja or Zadnor, or through just trying to get the field notes to drop from him, as uh, basically you can either do a duel against him in both of those instanced areas, Zadnor or Bosja, with a 100% guaranteed chance, which is no easy feat unless you cheese it, or you're going to be trying to get these field notes from Castrum Lacus Latore, and in particular Dal Riada. Many people have cursed his name whilst collecting those notes to try and get their mount. Well, I thought it what better thing to do but to immortalize him in NPC creation. So last time we looked at Pagaga of the Pride, who uh, works alongside uh, Leon, if you read the field notes, they're really good buddies, they're best buddies, they're, they're, she's out to help him where possible and helped him free from a jail, which is kind of cute. Uh, we, we made her quite successfully, but we haven't made him, and I did mention I wanted to give him a good go. So here we are. We do actually have a high year left around, uh, one of my alts, from when we created Jack, um, the guild leader of the, uh, of the ninjas, obviously. And um, yeah, let's use the Fantasia and try and recreate this character. And if I do a bad enough job, then you probably won't see this video. But if you are watching this video right now, it's uh, it's a good likelihood I've created something good. So uh, fast forward and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so this is what we came up with then. This is as close to him as I could physically get based on looking at pictures and seeing you know, other bits and pieces and in-game footage. I think this is as close as we could probably get. The sliders are on screen there. If you want to follow those, you have a very good chance of being able to recreate the character as you imagine it in your head. Obviously, the hairstyle that we've got here on demonstration is wrong. Uh, that's because the hair that's required for this particular NPC recreation is actually the Windcaller hairstyle, which is something you can obtain in the Bosgen 7 front from the Bosgen cluster vendor for 150 clusters. That's something I have purchased for this character. I've traded that across, it's just we can't see it in character creation, so we're going to have to do that in-game at an s Fetition. But I think you'll agree, especially when we show it with the hairstyle, that this is a pretty much one-to-one -one replica. There's nothing on the model of Leon that I could tell that was different from what a person could create in the game. So that's nice to see. There's nothing horribly unique that I can't access, which makes a change for some of these MP uh, NPC recreation videos. But yeah, let's hop into the game. Let's go to the esthetician and then I'll show you what this truly looks like. And hopefully these sliders are helpful. And with the hairstyle, it really does cap off this one. It, you really don't see the same character without the hairstyle. It, it definitely makes the character Leon rather than just some generic hire walking around with a bad temper. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. The next thing to uh, put into a place of concern then is the actual armor that we can equip this guy with. Now, unfortunately, Leon does have a multitude of things that he equips, especially based on the fact he uses a two-handed axe of the crags in a one hand. He uses the wall of crags shield in his left hand. So, you know, a two-handed axe and a shield. So that's already warrior plus paladin. Then he wears uh, the high steel arm guards of maiming. So he's using dragoon pieces. And then he's using striking feet and legs. So he's all over the place. But if we delete the idea of doing weapons and you just, you know, RP as a character with different weapons and you forget the gloves exist or find something else, then we can actually make this work for striking. First of all, this is the South Seas Talisman. This is the chess piece that we're using. Now, you might be wondering where this is from. It fits all male characters level one in the game, all classes. Very, very good. But this actually comes from uh, desynthesis. Uh, from gigant sharks, so for a particular type of fish, at a, I believe it's like a 10% rate um, in culinarian descent. Uh, there doesn't seem to be many other ways of getting this, but it is a really unique piece, and a lot of people have been selling this rightfully for a large amount of gill, you know, upwards of 200 to, to 400,000 gill it's still going for. It comes with a tattoo on the arm and has... Uh, beads down the chest for the necklace and it's exactly the same one that Leon uses 
So you're going to need to get this to, to definitely add to that look, especially considering we're not going for the gloves. Otherwise, it's going to leave that chest, well, too bare, and then you're you're going to have to find something else to cover it up. But that's apparently how you get a hold of the South Seas Talisman, is through desynthesis via culinarian on gigant sharks with a 10% rate. So there we go. That's... um. That's pretty crazy, honestly. I didn't know that even existed or was a thing until today. So the legs we're using then are the Alamegan Bottoms of Striking, which you can get for Poetics over at Ralga's Reach. Uh, those fit perfectly, they're undyed. Uh, they don't need to be dyed, they fit perfectly for what we're going for with that aesthetic, and it looks like Leon wears um, basically a variation of those. And then the feet to go with this are the gazelle skin open-toed boots of striking. And those are the ones that look the closest as well to what Leon uses. So overall, I mean, we're a little bit lacking on the glamour side of things, especially for gloves. If you wanted to wear some gloves to go with this, I mean, there are plenty of, of things that would look good, but you can't have access to the maiming gloves whilst you're you know, playing as a striking character. And if you go for the gloves, you're not going to be able to wear the legs and boots. So, um, yeah, it's going to it's gonna eventually come to the point where you are you hit a wall either direction you uh, approach this from, even if you look at similar models or, you know, replica models for, for different jobs in the game. But um, I would recommend going for the legs and the boots and uh, leaving, you know, the Emperor's new stuff on your gloves and your helm and that would probably be for the best but overall i think this is a really cracking attempt at making leon a great character an annoying character and hopefully you've enjoyed this video as much as i have making it these videos take quite a while to make as you can probably imagine but uh, yeah much love thank you so much for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day happy hunting with those field notes hopefully they drop for you soon if you're still going for that bike mount don't give up don't lose hope, you've got this, and I'll see you all next time.